Well, here we are, people. Um, it's been, I think, probably a month since I started collecting these. And uh, I've gotten in twos and twos and, and twos and then one. The first one that I bought is the Mark 7. After that, I got the Mark 3 and uh, 6. After that, I got the Mark 1 and 2. And the remaining ones were the Mark 4 and 5. <coughs> All in all, guys, um, you know, I've been a big fan of the Iron Man series, uh, comic books when I was younger. Uh, back in 2008, when the movie, Marvel movie came out with the Iron Man movie, um, I was just, you know, uh, I was like, this is awesome. Thing is, um, I've seen the Hot Toys once. I just cannot really justify, you know, putting $600 for a figure. And, uh, let me turn this light on for a second. Justify $600 for a figure and, uh, you know, nah. But, this isn't exactly cheap either um so don't think like oh well i'm gonna buy this and it's gonna be very cheap no not really only two of these is like 150 bucks so we're talking about 150 300 450 and so over 600 almost 700 dollars we got here uh, a little bit more because i'm dealing with shipping fees and 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 and, and custom fees and stuff like that so this is this is not cheap at all but um the details on them are very well made um the figures are very sturdy the whole armor hall of armor itself is very nicely built you guys can see the Mark II is really shining of the aluminium uh, kind of build quality that it has. Uh, the Mark III, the beautiful Mark III when he started getting uh, that uh, famous hot rod red color. The Mark IV, also beautiful piece very nicely detailed the mark 5 which comes with the briefcase as well uh, very 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 nicely detailed mark 6 the only the only um, the only Iron Man suit that has a triangular arc reactor chest piece probably one of the nicest suits out there and the famous mark 7 these are very very beautifully detailed figures they're 7 inches uh, 7 inches? no they're 10 inches in, in, in length so uh, it's not really you can't really say it is like super small or anything um let me see if i can get something of size that i can kind of compare it to um what do i have what do i have here uh da, 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 da. well here's a regular wd-40 uh, spray paint can so you can see the figure kind of towers over it. So, they're not super small, so it's very uh, nicely and detailed. And I'm happy that I've gotten the whole uh, Hall of Armor. I think it just looks badass with the 
the American flag right there in the background. Um, I wanted to get a shelf, a shelf for it and, you know, just, I don't know, kind of put it somewhere. But I'm not really sure. So for now, the time being, I'm just going to leave it here. Um, but very, very, very nice detailed uh, um, armor, hall of armor and uh, figurines. Totally posable. You get them with uh, interchangeable arm uh, hands, uh, you know, with the blasters, and uh, also uh, you can probably mock it up as if it's flying because you get like this uh, this black um, you know hip uh, hip uh, piece that you can uh, kind of model it as if it's flying. Um, the Mark One, you get all sorts of accessories for it, and you do get also. But all the boxes are up here. Not that I really don't feel like opening them. But in each and every box, uh, there's the plexiglass that goes right in front of it. Um, but I don't know for whatever reason, they all came good except for the Mark One. The Mark One is Mark Two. And the Mark II is Mark II, so it, it will kind of suck having two Mark IIs next to each other. And the Mark I is just, it doesn't have the glass. The, because on every glass, it has the shape of the armor. And on this side right here, it says either Mark Seven, Mark Six, Mark Five, Four, Three, Two, One. But here it says um, Mark Two and Mark Two. So I did not get the glass for the Mark I. So that really sucks, um, but you know, it is what it is. Um, so yeah, for, for the time being, I'm just gonna display them like this. Uh, but um, yeah, and what else can I say? Oh, the lights, uh, it doesn't hold charge, I think that long. I think it will probably, if you leave them on, it can stay on for like an hour and then it will just turn off. Um, but what is really nice is once you charge it, right underneath the platform right here, a red light goes on. And when it's fully charged, a green light then appears. So then you know that the Hall of Armor is fully charged. Um, what else can I say? Um, the figurines themselves, they're very stiff, so how you pose them, that's pretty much uh, the the pose it will hold. So you don't have to worry about it, you know, being flimsy or falling off. Um, so, uh, so yeah, it's, um, it's a really good purchase. If you guys are fanatics of uh, the Hall of Armor of the Iron Man, looking for alternative because the, Hall of Armor of Hot Toys is ridiculously expensive. Well, this is the next best thing that you guys can check. Uh, that is very, very film accurate and uh, looks badass. All right, so this is the complete Hall of Armor from Mark 1 till Mark 7.